So guess what happened? I made my first $10 on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> okay, so in the video I recorded earlier, I shared that I finally got, the, I shared about finally getting the, um, what do you call it? Finally getting the $5.18 that I was missing to get my $94 out of YouTube jail. So um, if this is the first time you're watching, I was monetized before, before the rules changed and I had $94.18 that was in YouTube jail or $94.82 that was in YouTube jail for the past two years. And I needed $5.18 to get it. And um, after about a week, after about maybe about six days of being monetized, I finally got to the, I finally got to the, to the, to that $5.18 and was super excited about it. But Turns out, if you stick around a little bit longer on YouTube, you get ten whole dollars. So it took me about eight days to get to ten dollars, but I did it. I am now the proud owner of a future ten dollars coming my way. <laughs> so, but I want to share a couple things that I have been doing because when I first monetized, it looked like my video. I was getting the first day I got a dollar the um I, the first day I got a dollar eighteen the second day I got a dollar nineteen and then after that um especially as the um especially as the weekend rolled around I got like eighty something cents and then it the numbers were just not um going up but what ended up happening was that I went in again and did a little bit more work and being a little more strategic about placing my ads um, before I, all I did was ads at the beginning and ads at the end and I only had non-skippable I, I only had skippable ads at the beginning and then the other ones I didn't have I didn't have I had bumpers and I had overlay but I didn't have non-skippable ads so what I did was I went in and I allowed non-skippable ads, but I also um, took some time and shifted a few things because I didn't want the non-skippable ads showing up in the middle of my um, in the middle of one of the videos because once I start talking about a topic, I don't really want I didn't want it broken up, so I was very strategic about so where I placed ads. So once I um uh, once I allowed um once I allowed mid roll ads to show up, I made sure I put where I want those ads showing up and which the videos that I that qualify that I'm adding um mid roll ads for, I made sure that I do not allow non skippable ads on those because if you're watching something, the last thing I want is for the something to stop you and say, hey, watch this for the next 10 to 15 seconds or however those things are. So I made sure the videos that have non that I enabled non-skippable ads for, they don't have mid-roll ads. It's only my videos that are short enough that I can, short enough that it's just one and it's, and I know for sure that it's not going to cut into the middle of the video. So. I did that and I think it seems like the non-skippable ads are still, it's like 1% according to YouTube of, of the revenue that I've been earning and the skippable ads are 88% of the, are 88% or you know, about 88% of the, of the, my YouTube revenue. But once I added the non-skippable ads, I don't this is for right now, just a theory, just what I think happened. But it does seem that after I went and enabled non-skippable ads, that my revenue was going up a little bit. So it looks like at, um, enabling the non-skippable ads made a bit of a difference. As I said before, it took about six days for me to get 
the five dollars and eighteen cents that I needed to get my ninety four dollars out of YouTube jail, and um, so and then after that, it took um, the the next two days. I got um, more than the I got almost I made almost six dollars. So it took six it took two um six days for me to make six dollars, and then once I enabled the once I enabled the non skippable ads it almost like I made almost the same amount of money in just two days. So I think there is something to it. Again, it's just my theory. It's just what I'm seeing, what I'm experiencing, what I'm witnessing. But I can't say that that's what it is. I can't say that it's that's what the YouTube algorithm does. I But the, uh, the other thing I did notice was that my views went up significantly once I... Um, they started going up anyway once I became once the once my channel was monetized, but it seemed like after I enabled the non-skippable ads and then I started get I saw the two the two days of more revenue that it did seem like I don't know it maybe maybe it's just my observ maybe my observations are wrong but right now for it seems like it's making a difference so. I'm going to keep watching it and I'm going to keep trying to see and keep looking to see what changes, what differences I'm seeing. But for right now, this is actually pretty exciting. It's almost, like I said, it's almost like couponing. Yes, I am. A, or at least I used to be a couponer when before they changed everything and it was and now it's not as much fun. But yeah, just seeing what changes are happening. But I like the idea um, the, uh, the other day. I was looking at my view counts and it was like almost I had almost double what I normally have just yeah over a two day period so I don't know I think there is something to this monetization so I'm hoping that it's going to keep going and I'm looking forward to seeing that to seeing how it helps grow my practice because for me the one of the main the main thing for me is being able to share that mental health content, which by the way, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, which I am linking here and I am providing the link below in the description, drjudyc.com. Please make sure you should, you take a moment and um, yeah, subscribe and watch a couple of the videos and hopefully you'll get something that if it's not for you, maybe it's for someone you know, because that's, for me, that's always been how I look at information is, you either get it because you need it or you get it because someone else you know is probably going to need it and you'll be able to share that information with them. So if you're if you're here, you're already here, just click the information thing button there or click the link below that'll take you to my channel, Dr. Judy C, and you can subscribe and be able to get more information. But um and once I figure out more about this whole monetization on YouTube thing, eh, I, I will share. But so far, it's been a week. It's um just so uh, it's been just over a week, and it looks like I've made about twelve dollars, <laughs> which is uh it's pretty cool. Yeah, so YouTube is gonna buy me gas once a month, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> And um, yeah, that's all I wanted to share. I, I, had, I just wanted to come back and share that information with you that, yay, it looks like putting, turning on non-skippable ads is making a difference or is giving me a bump in um, viewership or watch time or whatever it is because um, the, just for the two days of having them, I seem to have a lot more, what do you call it? I seem to have earned in two days of having them of almost as much money as I did in six days of not having it. So yay, I'm finding something. So I hope that if your goal is monetization, I hope this has helped you or this will help you or you'll apply it. And if you if you apply it and you see a difference or you don't, please share. Or if you have some other secret, some other tool that you know, please share because uh, I want to know. All right, that is all we have for today. Good morning, world. Have an awesome day.